Hello, my name is Richard Cameron and I teach English Composition 1101 here at Indian River State College. Let's talk about revision. How many of you have had an instructor hand back your paper and say, your paper is not right? And you say, well, what do you mean? Your paper has mistakes on it. But there is, your paper needs work, it has problems. What's all that mean? Well, hopefully, after uh, my discussion with you today, that will all be clear. I'm going to review five basic things that everyone can do to improve their revision. Point one, the elimination of repeated words. Repeated words are phrases. Everyone is guilty of it. For instance, you might be doing a personal experience paper. And you'll say, uh, I went to the football game in the football stadium to watch the football players. You know, football's been repeated too many times. Uh, you might have a, uh, a research paper that you say, uh, you know, that Poe uses uh, descriptive sensory images. And then the very next sentences, you say Poe's use of sensory images is very powerful. It's a repeated idea. Needs to be eliminated. Second uh, uh, point would be the verb construction and person. Now, pending your instructor's approval, because they have the last say, research papers are usually done in present tense, third person. That means no you, no I, no we. They come out. Now, you might have a personal experience paper that you have the permission to write in first person and past tense. You know, I uh, won the basketball game. That's your experience you're writing about. That would be in pers first person, past tense. But for research papers, they will be in, and, and you want simple present tense verbs. You don't want multiple verb constructions. For instance, Poe had been writing story. It's, it's cluttery. Uh, Faulkner had been using. No, you want simple present tense verb. Poe states, Poe reveals, Faulkner expresses, Faulkner describes simple present tense verbs in third person for research papers. Number three, I call weasel words. The elimination of unnecessary words or phrases. Now, it's not the same as repeated words. These are words that are cluttering your, you need to think of it as a piece of clay. You're a sculptor and you're trying to scrape off the unnecessary words to reveal the image underneath the clay. For instance, if you're saying, well, I kind of ran over sort of the, you know, these are unnecessary words. Kind of, sort of, really, always, on account of, because. These, these clutter and detract from the uh, vivid diction that should be used. Number four has to do with format. And depending on whether or not you're using MLA or APA or whatever format the instructor has, has approved for the assignment, you need to be checking, is the header correct? Are the references lined up in reverse indentation? Are they alphabetical? Is the in-text citation correct? Is, is the in-text citation a direct quote? If it's a direct quote, does it have a page number? These are questions that you would, you would be scanning to approve. Now, I saved the toughest for last. Number five is advanced revision. Advanced revision is where you say, huh, what am I doing? What is that doing there? That, that's a summary comment. Why don't I have that in the introduction? That needs to go down to the conclusion. You have to read your paper out loud to hear these mistakes. Reorganization requires you have to ask yourself, do my comments match the quote that I have provided or the criticism from the database? That's called unity. Again, if you say Poe uses sensory description, then your quote from the story better have sensory description in it. And the criticism from the database better say Poe uses sensory description. Again, that is the most difficult, but it's something that everyone can do. So in summation, let's review the five basic techniques of revision. The elimination of repeated words or phrases. Uh, appropriate verb construction in person. The elimination of weasel words. Uh, examining for correct format. And the, the toughest, reorganization of ideas. 
maintaining a unity of thought throughout the paper. Good luck, students. <laughs>